Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 23's recap of 2018's Monday. It starts Monday. Okay, the question this week is, so what is health? Well, if you took a survey, many would respond and say it's either looking good or feeling good. If I feel and look good, I must be healthy. Wrong. Wrong on so many levels. Now, first, I think we can all agree that health is our greatest asset. I mean, you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have your health to go along with it, what are you going to do with it? Now, health has been defined by the World Health Organization for the past 70 years the same way. It is a 100% function of all systems of the body, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. In short, it's the body doing exactly what it should do, exactly when it should do it. Now, that's a really good thing because the body is also a self-repairing, self-healing machine. When you cut your finger, it scabs up and heals over. And when you break a bone, it mends. And you don't even have to think about the process. It does it automatically. It knows exactly what to do, and it knows exactly when to do it. Okay, so if health is 100% function of the body, all we have to do now is identify the part of the body that controls all other parts of the body. We have to figure out what part of the body tells the rest of the body what to do and when to do it. And that one part of your body is the brain. The brain sends messages down through the spinal cord and out to every organ, tissue, gland, and cell of the body. Each and every part of the body is totally dependent on the information coming down from the brain to keep us alive and to keep us healthy. Take your lungs, for example. See, I don't touch your lungs, but I crush the nerve that goes to your lungs. What happens to the function of your lungs? Well, nothing good. Okay, I take your heart, and I cut the nerves that go to your heart. What happens to the function of your heart? Well, it stops. Yeah, that's not opinion. That's fact. The connection from the brain to the body is the one that keeps us alive. It's literally your lifeline. See, the central nervous system, being the brain and spinal cord, are so critical to the function and health of the body that it is entirely cased in bone. Wonder why that is. Well, the same reason why you would encase anything. Protection. And when this form of communication from brain to body and body back to brain is damaged, your health suffers. Now, the most well-known case of nerve damage in recent history was the horrible accident to Christopher Reeves back in 1995. Now, it wasn't the accident that killed him, but the man dies nine years later in 2004 from organ failure at the age of 52. Now, does anybody believe that Superman would have died at that young age if he hadn't had a spinal cord injury? Of course not. His health just declined in such a way that he aged the equivalent of 40 to 50 years in just under 10. His nervous system couldn't have functioned in a healthy way. Therefore, his body could not have functioned in a healthy way. So if we want our body to function, we need our nervous system to function. Okay, so what determines how our nervous system functions? It's the strength and stability of the structure. Structure determines function. When everything as far as your spine is in alignment, there are no blockages or interference as far as nerve function. That's optimal. That's where you want to be. That is a state of health. And the strength and stability and alignment of our spine is reflected in something called our posture. When we want to maximize our body's performance, the body's structure must be part of that conversation. And that means we must talk about posture. If the nerves of your low back that run down your legs and into your feet have pressure on them, are you susceptible to injury to your knees and feet? Will that nerve pressure delay recovery? And in turn, if you don't address that nerve pressure, are you susceptible to re-injury? The answer is yes. Study after study confirms that the strength of your posture, your alignment, influences the flexibility of your muscles, the interrelationship of injuries, injury prevention, accelerated injury recovery, and improved performance. Wow! So it really is better to be in alignment. That's right. Posture is vital, and in oftentimes an underappreciated aspect to the healing process, health, and performance. Until now. Posture is part of healthy living and a healthy lifestyle. If you haven't been into the office, I invite you to come in and get checked. Just call the number that you see and our office staff will schedule you an appointment. We help people improve their posture and in so doing, help them recover from injury, get relief from chronic pain, and avoid unwanted or unnecessary surgeries every single day. So hopefully we can do the same for you. Because it is better to be in alignment than out of alignment every single time. And we will see you at the next post next week.